Thank you. That was uh, a very, very nice introduction. I, uh, oh, here it is. Is, uh, is my slide up? Is my slide show? I, uh, you know, I, I have the opportunity to speak to, to different groups all over the world, and, uh, and I have a, a great time doing it, but there is no place that I feel more at home, the, the Ohana, I guess, of the Kayani Ohana, as I, as I do here at Team Aloha. And, and it's because of that that uh, spirit of aloha that I had never seen before, but I read through that. I quickly took a picture of that, sent it home to my wife, um, because it's it's true. And that's, you can feel it whenever you come to a team aloha meeting, and it's that that family feeling, and that's where I I come from. And so I am going to seem somewhat scattered, and I'm not going to go exactly through my slide. There are some points I want to make um, that uh, are are shown there, but. I want to just talk to you like we're, we're family, because that's what we are. And I want to share a little bit about my family and my, my growing up. I had the most amazing childhood. It's, it's one of those things you don't recognize when you're in it, but in looking back you say, wow, I was blessed. I had so many things provided for me and so many things going for me, but uh, our family is not like a Kennedy family or or one of these families that have had, um, you know, trust funds and, and tremendous wealth our entire lives. I have, when, when my family started, we were, came from very humble beginnings. And so I'd like to very quickly go through a little history of my family so you better understand who I am and why I was motivated and why I continue to be motivated to make Coyote a success. And not just a success, but the most successful company in this industry. And it, uh, so, that's me. Um, mom, I want to tell a little bit about my mom and dad's story. My mom and dad both came from very small towns in the state of Utah. And my dad came from as humble of beginnings as you've ever seen. Now, they didn't have electricity in their home. The dad was, had problems with alcoholism. The mom left once when he, my dad was 12 and didn't come back until he was 17. And uh, just almost raised himself, if you will. And when he got home from uh, the army, he decided to run electricity in the house. They couldn't afford it, so he just had learned it in the army. He did it himself. And uh, just came from that. But he saw a need in his life. He, he didn't want to live like his dad lived. And so he put himself, uh, saved up money, put himself through college. And uh, that's, what does that say about him? You know, it, it, it says that he, um, if I can get that next one. There we go. He just wanted change. And how many of us sit in our lives and we, we aren't completely content with the lives that we're living? How many people are sitting there saying, I could do so much more, I have so much more potential. You look around and you see other people enjoying a, a part of life and you say, you know, you're, you're not being critical of them, but you're saying, I have the same skills they have. I have the same talent. Why can't I experience that? And it's just a matter of setting some goals and, and making that happen. Well, my mom's story is not quite as dramatic. She had electricity in her house, and, and mm -hmm. but they were still very poor. She was the first, both of them were the first children in their family's extended family or anything that went and put themselves through the university. And they met while going to a college called Utah State University. And at the end of that, um, my dad was hired by Phillips Petroleum, which is now part of ConocoPhillips, Union 76, those state, those state companies, you know. And he worked for them for eight years, just as a field rep, and he traveled around Utah, and Nevada, and Wyoming, and Montana, and Idaho. And he was, in 1971, he was transferred to Idaho Falls, and so we moved there. I was, that was the same month, actually, they transferred there, it was the month that I was born. And so I was born and raised in Idaho, but, uh, about three years later, in 1973, my dad had the uh, opportunity to purchase a business. Some of the Phillips distributors were very old, they didn't have any children to turn it over to, and so they came to my dad and they said, we would like you to buy our business. We think you have all the skill set to make it extremely successful. And he said, I, I appreciate the offer, but I don't have any money. I don't have enough money to buy it. And they said, well, we trust you enough, we would like to sell it to you, but just carry the contract and so you'll just pay us a monthly payment for the next 10 to 15 years. I don't remember exactly what the terms were. But uh, they they bought that business. My mom and dad had saved up $16,000. They went and borrowed 4000 more and sold. I, I remember they sold a piano in, in the store and they, they 
got together twenty thousand dollars was the down payment they made on that business, and uh, they so they risked everything. But what does that say? Because that was the first time already working for Phillips, they had changed their lives. That everything was better than it was going to be, but they weren't satisfied. They they knew they could do more, and they wanted change, and uh, and they were ready to pay the price. And this is what I want to get into next is how remarkable my life was. That is my father right there, uh, second one in from the from the right for you. And uh, that's not my mom, that's the secretary. But uh, <laughs> that that was the entire staff in 1979. And that was the name of our company. That was the business we had. Those were the two trucks that we owned and the fuel tank. And uh, from from there. The, uh, my parents created a, an atmosphere where, where we went to work every day with them. I went into work from as soon as I could sweep up, as soon as I could wash things, anything that I could 